Hey everybody, Pastor Roger Henriksen of God's Will Community Church in Yukon, Oklahoma. So I want to jump on uh, for a moment and have a part two to what we've been talking about starting yesterday, which is no change. No change as in when people say that they have called out to Christ for salvation, but there's no change in their life. And we're talking about reasons why. Why is there not a change uh, when somebody says that they came to Jesus and salvation. The first part one that we talked about, we talked about those who called out to the name of the Lord for the wrong reason. An example of that would be that maybe uh, teenagers going to youth camp and they called out to the Lord because all their friends are doing it. All the, all those kids around them are doing it and they don't want to be the oddball out. So they do it just to say that they too called out to the Lord, uh, doing it for the wrong reason. Another example could be, which I have also heard uh, while speaking with others, is um, basically to get somebody off their back, to get their spouse off their back, to get their pastor off their back, somebody in the church. You know, when they're talking to them about salvation, they just do it just to get that person to leave them alone and quit bringing it up. And there's not going to be salvation in that. We have to get to a place in our life when we know for ourselves, and we make a decision for ourselves that we know that we need God in our life. It is only then that when we get to that place that we know that we need God in our life, that we know that we need His forgiveness, that we need His salvation, that we need Him, His grace, that we need Him in our life. It is only then that we can truly call out to the name of the Lord Jesus for salvation. That is whenever you're going to become that new creation that we talked about in 2 Corinthians 5.17. That says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation, a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So you're not going to become that new creation in Christ until you call out to him with a true heart. And God knows whenever you truly call out to him with a true heart, rather than just doing it, just to get somebody off your back, just so you won't be the oddball out, you see. So that's one reason why there's no change in somebody's life when they say that they have called out to the name of the Lord Jesus. But what I want to talk about uh, this evening is I want to talk about another reason why. And in this person, I want to say this person, when they called out to the Lord, they did get saved. They called out to Jesus. They knew that they needed him in their life. But they start off, they start off that new creation, things are changing. And I do want to say just real quick, guys, that whenever we talk about that new creation and that new life in Christ and old things are passed away and behold, all things are become new, guys, that doesn't happen overnight. It's a process. It, it's a, it, it takes a process over time as you build that relationship with Jesus Christ. It's not something that's going to boom, just happen. You're going to wake up the next morning and everything's going to be different in your life. It doesn't work that way. Um, it's a process. And the, and the more you work on your relationship with Jesus, which means you're reading your Bible, you're having prayer life, you're serious about following Jesus, that's whenever you start to build that relationship and you begin to notice that things are starting to change in your life. But it's not just going to happen overnight. So what happens is somebody comes to Christ they're on fire for God, on fire for God. You can see a difference in their life. You can see that new creation. But unfortunately, sometimes over time, that person, that fire, that flame that they had inside of them for the things of God, it starts to just go down to a little flicker, if anything at all. So you had this big old flame burning for God. And now it's down to a flicker that's barely even flickering. It's barely even lit. So that person has gone back to the world. And many, many, many people who find themselves in that position, it's like they're living a lie because they're trying to act like they're still on fire for God. They're trying to act like that that burning flame is still burning inside when it's really not. But they're trying to act like and put on a, a, a front that it is, and it's not. And so 
they still post things on Instagram they, or social media. They're still posting scripture, uh, Christian things. They're still sometimes going to church, even though they may not be going like they used to. They'll still show up to church every now and then because they're trying to put on a front. They're trying to fool people. They're trying to have it both ways. They're trying to live for God a little bit, not like they used to, but a little bit. But yet they're really, really doing things in the world. Uh, They're holding on to the worldly things. And the scriptures tell us, guys, you cannot serve both God and man. You got to pick one. You got to pick either God's side or the world side. And I'll tell you right now, if you pick the world side, you're going to find yourself uh, in a world of hurt. The only thing that the world has to offer is pain and suffering, disease, illness, sickness, hurt, disappointment, all, all that negative kind of stuff. But when you choose God's side, you're going to find contentment. You're going to find true joy. You're going to find true peace. You're going to find salvation. You're going to live in grace. Guys, I'm telling you, uh, if you choose God's side and you stick there and you, and you stay there, uh, God will take care of all of your needs. But let me just say, for the one who has gone back to worldly things, guys, your life is going to show it. You're going to be continuing telling people that, yeah, you got saved, but your life is not showing it. You're trying to act like it is. But, guys, I want to tell you right now, people see through it. They see through the nonsense. They see through the lies. They see through your act. And more importantly, not only do people see it, and not only just believers see through it, but think about this. Non-believers, those who don't even know God yet, they see through your nonsense. They see, they question how somebody can say they know such a wonderful God, but yet they're still living worldly. They question it because they see right through your nonsense as well. But more importantly than anybody seeing through it, guys, God sees it. And that's the most important one. God sees the lies. He sees what you're doing. And guys, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So whenever we see and hear people say that they come to know Jesus, but yet their life sure don't show it, that's another reason. Because they have slowly gone back to the world. And I just want to say, guys, the worst thing that you can do is taste the goodness of God, taste uh, salvation in Jesus Christ, and then make a decision to start going back to worldly things. Guys, you do not want to find yourself in that position because uh, it won't, it, it will not be good for you. The Bible very clearly talks about that, and you don't want to find yourself in that position. So one of the one of the other reasons why people say that they got saved, but yet, guys, you just don't see it in their life. Well, we're on reason number two, part two. Number one was because they called out to the name of the Lord for the wrong reasons. And then this one that we're talking about tonight is because people have got saved, but they slowly went back to the world. I'll give you a quick example, then we got to wrap it up. I remember a young lady who once came to me and she talked to me and she said, I'm about done with my faith. And I said, well, what's going on? Why would you say that? She said, because I'm tired of talking to people about salvation, about God. I'm tired of witnessing to people. I'm tired of sharing my testimony. And she said, I'm just done with it. She said, I'm tired of people uh, acting like they don't care. They don't want to hear it. They reject me. And she said, "I'm, I'm done with it. And I told her, I said, listen, they're not rejecting you. They're rejecting God. They're rejecting what God is doing in your life. They're not rejecting you or they would have rejected you a long time ago. They're rejecting the new you. And that is not you personally, it's Jesus in you. That's who they're rejecting. So guys, we cannot let people determine our relationship with Almighty God. So guys, that's part two. The second, another reason why people, you don't see the fruits of the Spirit in people's lives is because they have gotten away from God after salvation. So tomorrow we'll have part three and we'll look at it again.